Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio, A Brave New World. I am Eddie Man, and this is episode number two. Last episode, we went ahead and um, set up a new series, and um, we finally, uh, after a couple, a bunch of roll turns on generating a map, we have uh, found ourselves here on this new alien world. And we are going to press forward here. It's a very slow start. Um, as you can see here, we have our starting area with our solar panels and our accumulators. With our first RoboPort. RoboPort Grant. I like the sound of that. <laughs> with our radar and a couple of storage chests with necessary starting items uh, needed to start a base. Okay, and um, we press forward here towards the towards the right here. Uh, we had to place some um, more robo ports down with more power poles to uh, reach out to start our own power source here, and that's where we left off last episode. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and press forward here with this. I uh, do. Did place some requester chests, so we want to go ahead and request some coal here from the network. Okay, and I think I can copy and paste that here. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, so that should bring the. I don't know, it does not bring the logistic box bots over because it's out of actually out of logistic range. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> so I think I think we might have to actually use another logistic bot or another RoboPort coverage to get at least this covered here. Yeah, bummer. And you see the, the chest has to be in the orange here to get coverage. What I could do is I can manipulate this. Okay. So let's go ahead then and let's clear that out. Okay. We'll have a construction construction bot come pick that up. All right, and then we will go ahead and place a logistic. Yeah, we can have that go there instead. Do we have any more? Blue chest. We have one more left. Okay, so we're gonna have to utilize these the best as we can until we get some research going and f way farther into the series for that. Okay. What I'm gonna do is once that's placed, I'm gonna copy the entity from here into that chest, and then I'm gonna create a funky looking. Just to get ourselves started here. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so now let's go ahead and just clear that. Do I not? Do I only have one? Oh, I only have one. Okay. So then we'll have to get rid of that then. Alright. Okay, so we're going to do this, right? And then what I want to do then 
is to you and then to you and then here we'll go ahead like this and we'll do that is that still out of range it's still in range perfect have to place power poles to connect I think that's going to utilize the rest of our power poles. Oh, we still have some. Okay. All right. Not a problem with that. All that to get power online. Okay. Slowly but surely going to move power along. There we go. Performance. All right, we have steady power now for the base. Okay, so the next thing I want to do then is I want to start off a little bit of electric mining drills here for coal. Okay, and again, we're going to need to it's these. I should use the blueprints as I want from my inventory slots here. Okay, and another thing, we have bottleneck on. I'm utilizing that. Okay, how many more chests do I have? I have these two here that I can use. All right, let's go ahead and just cut those off. Pick those up. Okay. And then we're going to need to connect power. One more there. We are running out of power poles. We're running low. We're not out yet. So it looks like coal is going to be a ongoing issue. Yeah. I'm only going to do 10 at a time because I don't want all my logistics bots um, going nuts with bringing bringing uh, coal back and forth here. Okay, so we have a supply of coal. Now what we need to do is get some smelting going on to start ever so slow with smelting. Okay, we have some power here for a electric mining drill for over here. So I think we should at least, now how did we have that last time? I know it was two. Okay. 
I think we need to use a request a chest for you. How many do we have left? We have two more. Okay. All right. We'll have a request a chest there. All right. Can we make? We cannot make regular inserters yet. Do we have regular inserters? I don't know. We have 16 regular inserters. Okay. So this is also going to request 10 coal here. Okay. And I want to do that. I think you will be there for now. And then we'll have to have some p more power here. Nope. Um, let's put you there. See, I remember doing a layout where it was something like this. But I'm not even sure if that's all right, let's just do Do we have any other types of chests? What do we have here? What do we have here? What can we do? It's just a storage chest right now, right? Yeah. Okay. So the storage chest we will place here. And then we'll do a get some iron plates going on here. Plate smelting, okay. Very slowly, very slowly. That's fine. We have power is good, okay. Do we want to double this up? <laughs> I'm not sure if we could double this up. I also need to decide where I am going to stop my smelting, right? Copper's all the way up here, iron is here, oil is right in the middle. I think a starter base here to the south. Okay, we'll have to get some wood planks going so I can start making some regular power poles. And then we only have one of our RoboPort left. Oh no, we have two RoboPorts left. Okay, so we can go ahead and work south here, connect the two RoboPorts here. And get that going. 
If we need to build on top of the oil right now, we will. <clears throat> Just because of limitations to space. Alright, so, <clears throat> yeah, I gotta watch my usage of my storage uh, chests here. And we have to get some um, production going on here as well. Um, so we're gonna just go ahead and get some basic belt production going on here. This is gonna be iron gears. Okay. And then here, um, do I wanna request anything? I don't need anything else to request it right now. And then we're just gonna go and jump to hue, and then we'll place you. So I'm gonna probably need another. Let's do that and get this going. We can actually interchange this to anything we really need to start off with, with crafting. Okay. And then you will be belts. And that's simple because then we can go like that. Oh, that's right. We can't pick up any items anymore because <laughs> we don't have a character. Uh, it's going to take a while to get used to that. Only bots can move things or place things down. I should do is I should create this again here and instead of having a storage bin for the iron there I should just put it all into belt production okay so let's go ahead and create that then here I'm gonna need a space there okay you can put another request a chest there Another power pole. And then we'll need um, this, that, and then that. Request 10 coal. Okay. How is this looking here? Plenty of coal. Okay. Have two labs. We have about those, those. See, we have belts already. But why not make more belts? Right, right. That storage bin can go there.
Okay. I think that's all the. Yeah, that's all the miners I have is for. So I'll have to take these off and use that for um, copper. Which is copper is is copper in the logistics zone? Copper is not in the logistics zone. We're gonna have to use a robot port. All right, we'll have to use one of the robot ports up there to get start getting copper working. Um, Need a power pole there. So then I actually wouldn't get rid of that one then. So we got uh, belt production being made, so I don't have to worry about the craziness of belts anymore. Uh, power looks good, okay. And then the next thing is to get copper online. Now how is our stone capacity? Oh, we have plenty of stone, so I don't have to worry about coal. Oh, we have a supply of coal. So what we're gonna have to do is just recreate this on copper. But that won't be until next time. Unfortunately, I am out of time for this episode, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here. Um, if you do enjoy this series, please go ahead and consider throwing this video a like. It greatly helps out the channel. And if you want to stay up with this series and any of my other series, please go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel as well. I've been Eddie Man Plays, and like always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.